What's going on guys? Sean Gutierre back with another video. Guys, it's day five of the quarantine. I'm up at the shop. I uh, just had to come by and get a few things, but guys, super eerie in here. Just, just nothing going on. Nobody here. And you guys leave me comments down below. Let me know how you guys are handling this. I know most of us are out of work right now, driving us all crazy. So what are you guys doing? Are any of you guys cutting at home? I'm trying not to really because, uh, you know, of course, anybody coming in my house, you know, just the, the chance of spreading this. So, uh, you know, none of us know how to handle this. We're all doing our best. I'm ready to get back and cut some hair. So guys, this is the last video I have recorded. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for some content coming in after this. If you guys have any ideas, leave me a comment down below. Thursday, guys, I will be doing a live stream, seven o'clock central, the same time I drop all my videos. Uh, at seven o'clock, I'm gonna go live on YouTube and uh, we'll just chop it up, guys, answer some questions, just kind of hang out. I'm about bored out of my mind. So anyways, guys, hope you like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think and uh, hit that thumbs up button, you guys know. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We're about to hit 2,300, we're moving up quick. Guys, uh, my goal this year is to hit 10K, so hopefully this, this doesn't slow us down too much, this virus stuff, uh, but we'll figure it out and get to it. So with that being said, let's get to the video. What's going on guys, Sean Cuts here back with another video. We're gonna do a burst fade mohawk. Uh, this is a video I haven't done yet, something I haven't taught yet. Uh, I know this is a haircut some of you guys struggle with, so I'm hoping I can answer some questions. So, I'm gonna get started. Guys, I'm gonna start off in the back with a V. Uh, you guys can do the shape however you want here. Uh, you can round it, you guys can see he kind of has a rat tail going on, so we've been letting it grow. We don't cut his length every time. This guy is one of my uh, most frequent clients, so he's probably about a week. Uh, to 10 days since his last haircut right now so um, you guys will see also in his front um, hairline and on top of his head uh, he does have some thinning going on so we don't cut it all the time uh, just really when it gets out of hand we will cut it uh, kind of trim it down and make it look nice again but uh, so we're gonna start off making a V in the back and then we'll go in and fade the sides Start off with the two guard guys. Uh, like I said, it hasn't been that long since his last haircut. So I'm gonna take my two guard. Uh, it is open and I'm just gonna flick out into this back area uh, and into the weight on top and we'll clean that up at the end. Uh, but again guys, we're preparing our canvas so we can go in here and do this first bag. All right, we're gonna start off with our ball guideline. I'm gonna take that from the top of his uh, vertical bar. You guys can see he doesn't have a real prominent uh, vertical bar. I'm going to take it from the top of that and then we're just going to do it in the shape of, you, you guys can see where the length of the hair is, uh, so I'm going to do my burst in that same shape of where the rest of the hair is. So just like if we were doing a low fade, we would drop it where the weight in the back is and you guys can see I'm just going to make that line follow the shape that we already have. I'm going to fold it out with our slim lines, we'll come in with our shaver underneath. Uh, his beard you guys can see is already down to stubble, so I'm going to come off the, the beard with my slim line and then we'll shaver all that area and get ready to fade up. Alright, so now we'll go in with our wall cordless senior. We're gonna set our open section about three quarters of an inch up. And you guys know, uh, just depending on how much space you have between the ball guideline and the two, uh, that's gonna determine how big uh, that your sections are. So you guys can see on the back section there, I'm gonna keep my clipper. You know, the hair's growing down, so I have to come up with my clipper. I can't turn it sideways and fade sideways, um, but we will use just the corners in those back areas to fade that section out. So we're gonna start like normal with our slim line at the bottom. And as I do this edge, we're just gonna barely use the corner of the trimmer uh, and start to blend that edge in. And then we'll come in with a closed clipper, uh, same as normal, and start to work that section out. 
you guys can see I'm just using the corner of the clipper, uh, making sure I don't put any big uh, lines in there as we cut it. You guys can see it's a curved line, so using an inch and a half wide blade um, and trying to blend this is just going to do more damage than good. So we're just working with the corner, uh, the two or three teeth at the end of that blade. Uh, and then we'll come back in with the, the lever half open if we need to, to finish up anything else before we go up. All right, we're gonna come in with the one open. If you guys see, I'm back to using my gold. FX. I actually bought some from another barber in my shop. I bought some, sold them, got the red ones. The red ones didn't work out for me. I bought another pair of gold ones. Uh, then you guys know I went to ISSE and built the green ones. Uh, and I am working on getting those fixed with Babyliss. Unfortunately, the shows that I've been to have been canceled. Uh, so they weren't able to take care of those for me. But those clippers literally are falling apart. Uh, and I think maybe it has something to do with being built in person as opposed to in the factory. Um, but I've gave up on my green ones. Um, I'm back to the gold ones, guys. Old Faithful, the gold ones are always consistent. So we did an open one. Now we're going in with a closed one. You guys can see I switched back to my seniors. I've kind of gone back to cutting pretty full time with my seniors. So uh, I'm kind of adjusting to getting back to using those full time. Uh, so I still grab my gold FX every now and then. But uh, we did the open one, closed one. And now you guys, anything that's left, we're going to come in. This is a half guard uh, with the corner of the clipper. And we're going to take out any hint of a line that's left between the two sections that we've already done. And of course we started with a two guard, so what you guys can see that's left, uh, that should be taken out with the two closed, and then a one and a half guard, uh, we'll take the rest of that line out and we'll be done with the side. we're coming in with the two closed. We originally started with the two open. So that's light, lightening that line up. And then the one and a half guard will take the rest of that out. And of course guys, sometimes the one and a half uh, doesn't quite get it. So we may have to go back to our one. And that's of course just in the detail work. Uh, if you guys see anything else that's left, we'll come back and touch that up. So there's our one and a half. And this should get us pretty much finished up with this side. Guys, I touched on it on my last video I put out, but something I want to make sure that you beginners are hearing. Um, your one and a half and your half guard are not intended to be used for a whole step. Originally when you bought clippers, they didn't come with a half and a one and a half. And the problem was that if you were using an open clipper and then a one closed, there was a length in between there that you couldn't really achieve. Same with a two guard and a, and a one guard. Um, so the half guard and the one and a half guard is really made just to take the line out that's left in between. You don't want to be using those for an entire section. Um, and that's something I hear a lot. I, I have people text me and as I start to talk to them about their system, uh, they'll, they'll tell me that they used a half guard open, halfway closed and closed. And what you guys are doing is really stretching out that gray area uh, and your fade's not going to be balanced. So we're going on this side guys, we'll do the same steps and uh, we'll catch up on the lineup. Guys, I was gonna do a beard tutorial as well on this one. Uh, I posted a picture a little while back. Uh, you can see he shaved his beard off right before he came in. Uh, but he has a really good, uh, really full five o'clock shadow beard. And so I have done the, uh, if you guys are familiar with A-Rod, I've done the A-Rod faded beard on him before, uh, where basically it's just a top beard line uh, and the rest is faded out. So I do plan on doing that sometime. Uh, of course, guys, we'll see what, uh, what ends up happening with all this and when we get back in the shop. Uh, but hopefully soon I can get him uh, to come back in. He is a pretty frequent client. So uh, hopefully next time he comes in, I'll have a little bit of a beard and we can do that for you guys. So again, guys, coronavirus stuff going on. I'm sitting at home. I uh, hope you guys are all doing okay. I know all of us, uh, all of us in Kentucky aren't working at the moment. Um, I'm not sure where everybody else, uh, what, it, what it looks like for everybody else. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to stay positive, guys. I'm going to keep putting out content. 
I might do a live stream on Thursday. Uh, I talked about it last video. If you guys would like to see me go live, I may even have my uh, my co-worker Cuts by Coast. Uh, he's another YouTuber. I may have him come over and I might cut his hair here in my office and do a live stream and then uh, just kind of chop it up with you guys and answer some questions while I'm cutting and maybe I can show you guys some things. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I don't have another video as of now to put out Thursday. Uh, so a live stream would be something good for me to, to put out. So you guys leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you want, if you want to see me do that, that's something we can do. Um, so guys, again, we're doing the same steps. We did the bald section with the shaver. Now we're coming in our open section with the slim line at the bottom. Then we'll do closed clipper, half open clipper. And guys, real quick, I do want to take a second. I've been tearing it up on YouTube. I've been really disciplined to keep putting out content for you guys and I and I understand that uh, funny enough it's been going well for me and, and I've been telling some of my guys and friends you know I'm, I'm expecting a hard time to come there's gonna be a time coming where I don't have content or don't feel like putting out content or don't have time to put out content and uh, I think that hard times here guys I'm sitting at home I can do endless content but I'm not allowed to cut hair uh, I can't be in the barbershop so here's the challenge guys it's here I knew it was gonna come I didn't know what it was gonna look like uh, but I knew that it was gonna, you know, I was gonna have some difficulties in this journey. Uh, I am gonna do my best to keep putting out content for you guys. Uh, if you guys can give me some ideas, if you guys like the Q and A's, you know, I can do a Q and A real easy. If you guys like the live streams, we can do the live streams. I've contemplated going and grabbing some of my old videos um, when I had 100 subscribers uh, and doing a new voiceover and kind of talking on the on that topic again, uh, just kind of up to date. You guys, let me know what you want to see. Uh, but I will tell you guys, I'm gonna stick with it. I do think we're gonna get through this, uh, hopefully sooner than, than later, uh, but I'm gonna stick with it guys, I'm gonna keep bringing you content. I am enjoying doing this, I'm having a lot of fun, and uh, I'm not gonna give up. So throughout this guys, I'm gonna stick with it and, and try to bring you guys some content. I just don't know what that's gonna look like, but I, uh, I'm gonna continue to do my best. Guys, we're about 2,200, 2,300 subscribers. Uh, it's, it's incrementally going up faster as we go. Uh, and I'm hooked, I'm loving I'm loving the feedback I get and all the, uh, the help I've been able to give you guys. So I'm gonna keep at it. And uh, I appreciate all you guys that watch and comment. And uh, if you guys would please leave me some feedback, let me know what else you wanna see and give me some ideas so we can keep, uh, keep putting out some content moving forward. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and give him an edge up. And like I said, guys, he's a little bit light in the corners. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys some color enhancement tricks and how to make this look a little fuller. I'm just gonna edge it up where his hairline would be. Uh, and there is a hint of some hair right there. So you guys can see we're giving him a little bit of a line as we go. Um, and then we're gonna come in with some color enhancement. Guys, this is a way you can help support me. If you really appreciate me, if you haven't bought a color card yet, please go to the website. That's some income I can have. Uh, you know, I'm not working right now. I have no way to make money. I'm not allowed to cut hair at my house. Um, so if you haven't bought one or if you bought the first gen, uh, I really would appreciate it if you guys would go cop one, shankatair.com. I promise you'll love it. Um, and hopefully we'll all get back to cutting hair soon and you guys can all use it. So we are spraying 245 no drip. This is the black brown. I'm going to do a light coat across the hairline and then we're going to step back and look at it. Uh, and, and we're going to go in and add some hair fibers as well uh, just to give them a full sharp look. So you guys can see I use the flat edge to go all the way across the hairline. And then the corners, we'll, we'll put the corner piece up in the corner and then use it as well for the vertical bar. Now you guys can see I'm going to hold his hair out of the way. This is a skin stain as opposed to being a hair dye. Uh, so I'm just going to move his hair out of the way and make sure I get that color up underneath his hair on the skin that you can see through the hair. I'm going to go back in here and edge it up. You guys can see the finished result.
45 triple cartridge razor. I'm just gonna edge this line up just a little bit sharper. Make sure we get all the stubble out of the way and get him the, the sharpest line possible. Style them up with some 245 indestructible clay. Getting real low on that, guys. I really hope it comes out soon. Um, we're gonna style it up, give it a little messy look, and uh, you guys can check out the end result. And we were joking, guys, about Instagram thumbnails and uh, having vape smoke in there, so I was just playing around for the thumbnail. But there you go, guys, finished product. This is a burst fade mohawk with color enhancement. I hope you guys learned something from it. This is a difficult haircut for beginners. Hope it helps you guys. If you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, help the channel grow, it'll bring some more content out. We'll see you guys next time. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click this link right here. If you wanna check out some more content from me, check out this video right here. Appreciate it.